think two big things happened. One is that this issue, this most intimate question in a person's life about when or whether or with whom we have a child, it was made a partisan political issue yeah. with partisan political money behind it. And the right wing of the Republican Party made an explicit deal with evangelical churches that said that they would provide the funding if the evangelical churches would provide the people. And they would fight for concerns. The right wing of the Republican Party would fight for concerns that came out of an evangelical religious faith. Yeah. Many of us have our own faiths. Some have no faith, but right. we have more our own moral values. But why should an evangelical faith be substituted for our own mm. when our country is founded on a separation between religion and government? Right. And so when that partisan uh, connection was made, for narrow partisan political purposes. It meant that the issue became a partisan political issue. So often people support candidates who are against reproductive freedom when they may, the money behind them may not have any concern about reproductive freedom. They These may be people who just want, they don't want to pay taxes. <sighs> right. They don't like unions. Right. They don't want, there's something else that they don't want in a clean right. environment. Ugh. So they're supporting candidates who are willing to deny our reproductive freedom, deny our voting rights mm -hmm. and put enormous funding behind it. There's a second reason. Okay. And that is that in that framework, many people thought, oh, Reproductive freedom is defended. It's protected. We have Roe. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to worry about. Now, we should remember how common this is. Right after Roe became the law of the land, one in three women had an abortion. <laughs> now, I've never had an abortion. And so if you counted three women, just think in the audience, one, two, three, one of you might have had an abortion or will have an abortion. Yeah. Then the numbers became one in four as both contraception became more common and also as the ban started to take place. And just before this June ruling overturning Roe by the Supreme Court, it was one in five. It still means, just think how common this is. Sure. And it means People had taken it for granted. And what we need to remember is we never can take freedom for granted. Right. It is an ongoing struggle, a struggle for our lives and for the next generation now mm -hmm. to take on. But if we organize, we have changed this world and we will change this world. Yes. Yes, thanks to the inspiration from people like you. <laughs> yes, it's true.